Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. Hope you check us out at jazzwealth.com. And uh, I'm going to try something different today. It, you know, I, I kind of went down the wormhole watching, you know, ooh, doom and gloom and crash and all this. I was trying to get a feel for why are so many people bearish? Like, we're, who's the one coming up with this? And, you know, you're on YouTube and you type in something and then it thinks you want to see more of it and more of it and more of it. And I was pretty depressed. So I said, well, let me let's try to make a bullish case can i and i spent some time thinking about this but let's talk about it i'm gonna actually give this to you in a way that um is not a headline type thing like we all look at will the fed be able to raise rates and not ruin the economy well we can tell by the inflation rate right so there's this whole thing there you're all looking over there and we've got the inflation numbers coming out and everything so there's actually a lot of underlying interesting things that can tell you whether the Fed's doing a good job or not and whether we will have a soft landing or a hard landing. You know what the difference is? This is more of a lesson type video. A soft landing would be that they're able to raise interest rates, bring down inflation, keep the labor market strong, and not hurt the economy, meaning we would still be out there willing to spend with the higher rates because we have jobs and better paying jobs, of course. Um, that'd be a soft landing. What do you think? It's hard to be optimistic about that, right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. Uh, a hard landing would be all of that happening, but yet the economy uh, it, it goes into a official recession, however we're defining that these days, uh, and we don't have jobs. We're not spending money. Oh, my gosh. Interest rates are high. Inflation's high and all of that. So if you want to look cool in front of your friends, let's take a look at something here. There is a good reason to believe the Fed is currently on track for a soft landing. I know. I know. I, I just look, I'm taking the other side today. I'm just, you know, let's not look over here. Let's look over. I'm just going to see what happens. So here's how you take a look at it. And I'll teach you a little bit about what sort of metrics you want to look at if you were an analyst or an economist. Well, here's the thing. Uh, screen. Total job openings are falling. All right, so they fell 1.1 million in August. Now we haven't had September's yet. Now we're down to uh, we're down 4.3 million, right, on the total job openings. What does that mean? It means that there were jobs available. Now there are no jobs or less jobs available. It didn't mean that we fired people. Well, this is what the Fed needs. We need job openings to come down first. They've actively said that. If job openings come down, then that they want people to keep their jobs, but it means there would be less jobs, right? So jobs opening. Now we need another 2 million lower in order to uh, target the 2% inflation. In other words, if we're around the 8 million there, in this case using this data, if we're around the 8 million, we can justify a 2% inflation rate. And it's kind of simple to see that, right? About seven and a half, eight million, that's where we were before. So we need to get down another 2 million job openings, not layoffs there, right? All right. Now, despite this drop in total job openings, the layoff rate actually remains pretty much at historic lows. So the Fed's winning there as well. Let's see what we can pull up here. Uh, there we go. So in red, this is the unemployment rate. In other words, if the total jobs market is contracting, which it is, where do you think it's contracting from? We would have job openings falling in an ideal world and the unemployment rate steady, right? So right now, we're finding that uh, those that ha want to have a job have a job. Those that are looking for a job can get a job but there are less jobs available than there were before. That's actually a good sign there, so I'm happy with that. Um, it means that the entire decline that you see in the labor market, if you ever watch that econ stuff on TV, it means that the entire decline came from just vanishing jobs, right? People that are working still have their jobs, they're not getting laid off yet. If we start moving into getting laid off, okay, well now, now that's not right. So number one, job openings falling. That's a good thing. We need about another 2 million to fall out of there because the Fed wants 2% inflation, so that'd be good. Number two, the unemployment rate, or sometimes referred to as the layoff rate, is actually pretty steady and near historic lows. Okay, that means we should have a, an economy that's kind of strong there. The last part I'll put in here is the average hourly earnings. 
So uh, Powell was a little upset by average hourly earnings. He was saying there are too many jobs and the wages are chasing those too many jobs, meaning so people are making more and more and more and more for jobs that they probably shouldn't be making that much for, but because it's so competitive, employers have to pay that. So if you look at the average hourly earnings here in blue, we're trending at about the 4.5% rate. This could be a little bit better, to be honest with you. We need to be around 3.5% with a 2% inflation goal. So we're tying the numbers together. About 7.5 to 8 million can support a 2.5% inflation rate. Uh, so we got some work to do there. Uh, if you look down here at the average hourly earnings, about a 3.5% uh, average hourly earnings trend rate, meaning it's just growing at 3.5%, that can support a 2% inflation rate. Even with a slight push towards the 3.5 range, that would be enough of a non-headline type number for the Fed to say, well, this is pretty much going well. We maybe don't have to raise rates anymore, meaning everything's already heading in the right direction. So we have that going on. You can make a case if you're an analyst or someone that wants to be a little bit more savvy with this stuff. Job openings falling because of rising rates, because of a tightening economy. Cool. As long as it doesn't go too much, we're good to go. Unemployment rates staying at historic lows, whether you agree with how they calculated or not, right? Okay, cool. As long as that stays the case, the Fed's like, we're doing a great job. And average hourly earnings hopefully start trending a little bit lower. And if that's the case, look, the Fed's going to be happy with it. So think about what that means. If they're going to be using this data and inflation, of course, but if they're going to be using this data and going, this is going really well, will they keep raising rates? Why would they need to? Right? What they've done is already working. So when they sl start uh, slowing the pace of uh, rising rates or maybe they just stop altogether, that's good for stocks. So we use this data, you put it together little by little. And I can promise you no other advisor has uh, chosen to share that with you or maybe even knows how to calculate and look at that stuff and d determine what's going on there. If this was helpful for you, I hope you hit the subscribe button, but more importantly, if you're looking for someone to help you get your dough straight, get started with us at Jazz, right? Very transparent, we have nothing to sell but ourselves, and actually you can see what it costs right on our website. Pretty much like on a, any other advisor, we just show you, right? Nothing to hide. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you later, live, uh, five o'clock on the closing beat. I look forward to it. Learn some more there with you. All right. See ya. Hey, you made it to the end. That's awesome. Well, if you want to check out more geeky stuff, be sure to check out that video over there. Also, if you could subscribe, that really help us out. We're financial advisors that love to teach and you'll find all kinds of free stuff on our videos. And remember, keep your dough straight. Yeah, I did it. You did it.